Number 15. Concrete Drop A horrifying event just barely avoided can make you think twice about stepping outside. Published by YouTube channel Mo Online in April of 2017, the Russian channel describes the details of this footage. People were walking along a street just minding their own business when a concrete block dropped from above. The block almost landed atop a boy on a scooter being helped around by his grandfather, while another woman also passed the place where it landed a moment later. As the concrete struck the ground, large chunks broke off, scattering across the sidewalk and surprising the passers-by. Surveillance footage caught the incident. As each of the three moved out of the way a split second before, no further information could be found about this incident, so it remains unclear if the block was thrown on purpose, although one article claims teenage hooligans were the culprits. It's videos like this one that will make you wonder about the state of humanity. Number 14. Overbrook Insane Asylum Abandoned insane asylums are inherently creepy. This one is terrifying. Published to YouTube by John Edmonds in February of 2013, this short clip illustrates what happens when you venture into an abandoned insane asylum. Located in Essex County, the Overbrook Insane Asylum in New Jersey has a reputation for being haunted, but it's unclear what this creature is that's apparently haunting it. While exploring the empty hospital, the pair of friends encountered something they probably wish they hadn't. Edmonds writes, We heard a loud screech and turned to see the scariest four-legged freak. Well, you know, it is what it is. Gosh. The animal they capture on camera doesn't appear to be an animal, nor does it appear to be human. But whatever it is, it's crawling on all fours and moving somewhat like a spider. Any idea what this might be? No matter what it is, I'm gonna stay far away from that insane asylum. Number 13. Hacked Security Sometimes the things that are supposed to keep you safe end up putting you in danger. That's what happened to this family, who installed a ring camera in their Cape Coral home, only to have it hacked by a horrible person. Published to YouTube by Christina Mendez in December of 2019, the footage is shown from the vantage point of the home security system, which appears to take in the entire living room, kitchen, and entryway. The security system alarm rings out loudly, and the homeowner enters the living room looking up at the camera. A voice comes over the system, addressing the male homeowner as My Main Man Shack. My Main Man Shack, it's your boy Chance on Nold. Welcome to the Nold Cast. The hacker states that his name is Chance on Nold. He says, Welcome to the Nold Cast, and asks how the homeowner is doing. When the female homeowner enters the scene and asks why he's in their camera, he just answers, Because I'm from Nold. The hacker goes on to say some very messed up things. At one point, he says he'll leave the family alone if they bring up a browser on their phone and type in the website that he tells them to. When they refuse and approach to shut down the system by removing the security camera's batteries, the hacker sets off the security alarm again and then shouts at them to go to Nold before he cuts out. After contacting Ring about this issue, the company told the family that an email address and password of one of their external accounts was exposed in a data breach. Though this was the first time the hacker spoke directly to them, the homeowners understand that he's been watching them for a while through their home security system. If that doesn't send shivers down your spine, I don't know what will. Number 12. Guatemala's Pompeii You can run from nature, but you can't hide. Published to YouTube by The Telegraph in June of 2018, this video reveals the frosty eruption of Fuego in Guatemala. The massive eruption was just one in a series that occurred over the course of 2018. This one in particular happened so suddenly that there was no time to evacuate. <laughs> the Volcano of Flames, as it's called in Spanish, is located just 27 miles outside of Guatemala City. The active volcano melted tires in the ground and flung baseball-sized rocks, covering the nearby towns and villages with hot ash. That's what you see here as the eruption blasts overhead and pyroclastic flows spring up, which are clouds of volcanic matter and hot gas. The Volcano of Flames could not be more aptly named. 
Number 11, Creepy Orc. When you see a figure that you can only describe as an orc, then you know that reality has become a Tolkien novel. Published to the paranormal subreddit by Remola Day 2, the uploader purports to have caught real video evidence of just such a capture. The Redditor explains that he and his brother are arguing what this thing is that they caught on camera. Due to its size, he doesn't think it's human. He writes, his house is remotely located and the figure is coming from a huge field and not from the road ahead. Also, all the lights on the road and behind the tractor are turned on by sensor, so the ones on the road ahead shouldn't be lit. In the video, the creature appears to waddle past, definitely in an inhuman way. The second video shows the creature's large shadow before it waddles past again. The uploader claims that they've discovered two black leaves where the creature was walking, and the woods near which it passed had also begun to turn black, like it's rotting. Some in the comments say that the creature appears to be dragging something, like a deer, suitcase, or large bag. Others say it looks like Sasquatch or Hagrid from Harry Potter. What do you think this is? Number 10. Yangtze River Monster Move over, Loch Ness Monster. The Yangtze River has its own mysterious creature, trekking the river's muddy depths. Published in September of 2019, this river monster spotted off a Yangtze pier was caught on camera swimming slowly, its tail swaying from side to side. The creature really does look alarmingly like old Nessie. Maybe Scotland should check if its iconic monster skipped town. But who knows, the Yangtze itself might just be full of its own cryptids. Number 9. Studio Ghost The next time you're getting inked up, you'd best beware the angry poltergeists that may haunt the place. Posted to the ghost subreddit by Little Bo, the uploader explains that the ghost in their studio is becoming increasingly aggressive, particularly targeting men. The video shows the ghost in action as the artist is preparing to give a customer some ink. Several things literally launch from the nearby shelf, falling down on the artist who covers his head. In the comments, the OP says the items that were thrown were a bottle and a Bluetooth speaker. It seems this is not a unique thing for studios. A Redditor mentions their 100-year-old studio's poltergeist is quite active as well. He writes, If you're in the basement, you can hear people walking above you, even if there's no one there, and just a general sense of dread. Once I was there alone after hours drawing, and the phone rang three times, and then read line in use as if someone picked up the phone, I refused to be there alone. The OP responds that the doorbell of their studio also goes off a lot without anyone entering, as they call such events their phantom no-show clients. Is this angry ghost one of their phantom no-shows? We can only guess. Number 8. Shadow Figure If you think you see someone that others don't, you may be right. Posted to the ghost subreddit by Christina7658, the Redditor explains that a friend that works at a subway in South Texas recorded this footage from a security monitor after a co-worker kept seeing a cowboy who apparently wasn't really there. The bad quality of the footage is due to the fact that this happened more than 10 years ago. This is what the pair found when they reviewed it. A shadow figure is seen rising from the ground near the entryway. The mist-like figure appears to hover for a moment before making its exit through the window. This has most in the comments freaked out, with Typer Active Audi stating, You can see his hat. I won't sleep tonight. Other Redditors like JCKCS Mama debunk the all-too-common insect on the lens theory by stating that the anomaly doesn't appear from the edges of the camera frame, as one might expect a crawling insect to. Instead, it seems to come directly from the ground. Christina also states that the anomaly appears to take on the window tint as it exits the building. She also notes that the worker who kept seeing the cowboy had seen it throughout her entire shift. There used to be another video of her washing dishes, and a black blob like the one in the video is next to her. Although she couldn't find the other video, the combination of events has many leaning towards the paranormal. Others suggest that corruption of the videotape or the camera's hardwire issues could be a more practical explanation. But is that what you're seeing here? Number 7. Mount Ontake 
If footage from the Volcano of Flames wasn't enough to make you steer clear of volcanoes, this one from Japan's Mount On Take just might. Published to YouTube by Robert SC1 in September of 2014, this video, reported by BBC News, shows footage of mountain climbers whose climb is about to be rudely interrupted. Mount On Take erupted on September 27, 2014. Obviously, the folks in this video made it out alive, but others weren't so lucky. Imagine being encompassed in this tomb of a cloud. This is definitely an incident that you would never fully shake. Number 6. Help Me This video was published to YouTube by Truthfinder30330 in March of 2020. Truthfinder's paranormal experience is more than creepy. It's absolutely terrifying. According to the man in the video, who is holding up note cards to explain his situation, he's a student who moved into a townhouse with two roommates who'd begun to experience odd happenings inside the home. He attempted to capture video evidence, but was unable to until now. His roommates also reported strange things occurring. On the night in question, they were out and our friend was home alone in the townhouse. He begins filming upon entering his home. As he's walking around, he starts to hear strange noises, including knocking and then something that sounds like a piece of metal falling on the ground. When he goes to check it out in the kitchen, that's exactly what he finds. A metal ring on the tile floor. It looks like it fell off the light fixture. After going upstairs and putting his keys on his desk, the hall light fixture starts to go nuts, flickering on and off statically. When he turns around facing his room again, something is standing there with a sheet covering it. A human form. He pulls the sheet away to find nothing there. He searches his room to see if there's anything to explain the form. Under his desk in the closet, there's no one there. That is, until he opens his bedroom door to the hallway and again finds this. If this video doesn't creep you out to the max, then you must be Superman. Number 5. Nest Camera Watcher after seeing yet another security hack video on this list, you might want to double or triple check your home security systems and update usernames and passwords. This video published to CBS Chicago's YouTube channel in January of 2019 documents yet another security breach in a family home. This time the creepy hacker was first heard interacting with an infant lying in his crib. The baby's father spoke to CBS Chicago saying, As I approached the baby's room and stood outside, I was shocked to hear a deep manly voice talking to my seven-month-old son. Exchange. You're all crazy. There's no What's that? When the man heard the voice, he rushed into the room, but the talking ceased. He assumed the voice he'd heard was just cross wires on the baby monitor. But when he went downstairs, the same voice came over another security camera in the home and, as with the last hacker, said some very messed up things. The homeowner recorded the exchange, and he also noticed his thermostat was jacked up to 90, which he assumes the hacker also managed to hack into. According to the homeowner, after unplugging their home security, calling authorities and alerting Nest, the company told them that a unique username and password, as well as two-factor identification is what can prevent these situations from occurring. Nest couldn't tell them how long the hacker had been watching the young family, as such logs were not available. The family had cameras posted up all around their home, so the hacker could have been watching them at all times. The only indication that someone is watching is a blue ring that lights up on the camera when someone is communicating through it. If you're feeling secure with your home security system, you still should change your password right now, otherwise this too could happen to you. Number 4. Watcher This creepy video comes from the equally creepy TikTok handle, I'm Watching, uploaded by user 2439525375589. The video shows someone indeed watching, taken from the vantage point of the watcher itself. A large sharp blade is used to open a home's window shutter slowly until a crack wide enough is made to look inside. Someone can be seen at home, appearing oblivious to the person who's watching them, going about their business and shutting off the light. The watcher leaves shortly after. While creepy in and of itself, the soundtrack to the video certainly ups the ambience. Number 3. Sally in the Wood 
The story of Sally in the Wood goes something like this. Located outside Bath and Somerset, there's a road that passes into the woodland of Brown's Folly, which locals refuse to drive down after dark due to the terrifying legend surrounding it. Known by locals as Sally in the Wood, it is said that no birds can be heard chirping through this stretch of the forest as a girl has her life taken there and now haunts the place. Some say they've heard a screaming child in the dark forest and some have seen a full-bodied apparition of a girl racing into the road at night. The legends are all over the place about Sally in the woods. According to some, Sally was an 18th century gypsy girl who was held captive in a tower where she perished. The website Wiltshire Paranormal claims that this story is entirely fictional and that the name Sally in the Woods more likely came from a battle that occurred at Brown's Folly in 1643. As Sally is slang for scrimmish, this could very well be true. However, the Bathford Society claims that Sally was an actual person, but not the only one who passed away in a tower. This legend claims that Sally was a witch living in a hut in the woods. Local records put Sally's passing at the age of 100, although that wouldn't really explain her appearance as a young girl ghost unless Sally the witch had the ability to appear youthful. Regardless of what you choose to believe, the generational legend of Sally in the woods lives on and the resulting fear can be felt throughout this video, published to YouTube by The Abandoned Prepper in March of 2020. Examining various parts of the house up close, The Abandoned Prepper wanders through this haunted place solo. Some parts of the house appear deeply aged, while others recall the more recent past. There's an old piano, a strange lock on the door, and an old photo box in the basement that appears as though they're from another century, but other parts of the home look as though they're from the 60s or 70s. Prepper says that he can hear water running and regularly hears strange noises. Shortly after entering, there is a definite sound of glasses clinking about upstairs while he is downstairs. This is massive. I'm getting a bit scared now. The f Hello? Prepper calls out to alert anyone else exploring the house to his presence. He also said the house has recently become a hotspot for urban explorers. He returns to the first floor and then upstairs to the second. He keeps hearing strange noises throughout. Birds are chirping and the sound of running water. What? Someone's flooded in the basement. He compares the house to Amityville and says it definitely gives him bad vibes. While well, he explores the adjacent house, at one point he enters a room. Notice there's no blue ball here. He heads upstairs and there's a loud sound of something wooden slamming or falling down. When he returns to that same room later, there's a blue ball in the middle of it. The call is coming from inside the house. He also finally discovers where the sound of running water was coming from. The basement of the house is being flooded. There's a hose passing down there, so it looks like it was done intentionally. As he's getting ready to head out of the home, he turns the corner to descend the stairs. That's when you hear the strike of a piano key. Off. Hello? Well, at the same time the hallway light bulb is swinging back and forth, he races down to catch whoever struck the cord, but there's no one. Finally outside, he turns back to look at the dark shell of a house. You can literally feel the creepiness shed away from you. Number 2. Saint Osith Witch This is the story of the Cage of Saint Osith, published on the website The Ghost Hunt UK in January of 2018. A writer and paranormal investigator by the name of Brad Mack gives a little background about himself and his family of dream chasers who love haunted locations, the supernatural, and investigating the lives of those who stick around after having long passed. According to Brad, he's seen some crazy things in his time as a paranormal investigator, but this piece of evidence is the most terrifying. During the Dark Ages, Essex was basically the Salem of the UK. Lots of so-called witchcraft and witch hysteria, resulting in spirits remaining there centuries later. For four centuries, the cage in question was locked up in a single building that had a separate cell for those who were considered witches. You can be sure it's left its mark. 
According to stories about the old place, one of the tenants who bought the place in the 19th century sold, sold it just two weeks after buying it for a third of the initial cost, likely due to whatever he'd experienced inside the home. According to the current tenant, took his own life in the master bedroom after becoming a recluse. Even more chilling, there is an old mental asylum opposite the cage which is also reputably haunted, as well as a haunted two-door pub down the street. Now to the events that were caught on camera on December 2nd, 2017. During the investigation of the cage, Brad's Melmeter, an EMF measurement tool, kept fluctuating a lot. To add to that, whispers and heavy footfalls were heard throughout the night and lights flickered frequently. Brad also claims to have been pinched on the leg, and he managed to capture what he calls stick figures on camera. When he tried to touch one of the figures, it recoiled. But the thing that frightened him most was caught on iPhone footage from CCTV at around 3 a.m. This video shows the master bedroom, which Brad calls the most hostile room in the house, placing a camera and walkie-talkie in the bedroom. Brad and Dave watched from downstairs, along with flickering lights, Brad heard a growl and three bangs of a door. Then they called over the walkie-talkies, as they couldn't see one of the volunteers on camera. Another volunteer answered that she was right next to her, but the only thing they saw in her place was not Debbie. This is Debbie. This is what they captured on film. Is this a trick of the light? Has Debbie been possessed by something evil? Or is this not Debbie at all, but rather the ghost of a witch? Either way, based on the story of this place and the footage captured, it looks real to me. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. Are you curious about what I look like in real life? Then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT to find out. Do you like my narrations? If you answered yes, then tap the follow button and thank you for your support. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new video we upload every Tuesday. Number 1. Peekaboo Jinn The Jinn is back. That's right, the shape-shifting creature of Arabic mythology that is said to have the capacity to possess humans is yet again making an appearance in this clip. Hassan Barbar believes he's caught one on camera. Posted in January of 2020 on YouTube, he writes in Arabic, I've never seen a jinn before. Outside of a stone building, the man captures something on film peering out at him from behind a palm tree. It pokes its head out briefly before drawing back into hiding. As he approaches the palm tree, you can hear movement coming from within it. He continues to wander around the premises until he starts to hear something swinging. Turning the camera towards the sound, he finds an old swing set. One swing flings back and forth, though no one is there to push it, nor does the night appear at all windy, as the trees remain unmoving. A short while later, when he is in front of the entryway to the building, a window pane slides closed. Again, it appears as though no one is there to close it. Do you believe in Jin? This video has me creeped out to the max. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!